Hello everybody, it is me, Supergodzilla Final Wars here, and today I am back once again with another video. Today we're going to be doing my thoughts and opinions on Prehistoric Planet Season 2. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything, and I don't want to see any spoilers in the comments below. I'm not going to talk about the episodes, I haven't seen them yet, but I have seen some clips on YouTube, so, yeah. So, for those who have seen Pray for Our Planet Season 2, no spoilers. Not just for me, but for everyone else who has not seen it yet, no spoilers. But, yeah, basically, for those who are curious what Pray for Our Planet is about, it's basically kind of more like a more realistic dinosaur documentary. This documentary is basically different from all the other documentaries that we've gotten over the years of, about dinosaurs. This one is more, this one is more realistic. Because the ideas of the dinosaurs are changing quite a lot. Like, literally, they're changing a lot, so as a result, the dinosaur is going to look a lot more different than they do originally. But, yeah. I love Prehistoric Planet. I've seen season one. And I think it deserves the title as the King of Dinosaur Documentaries. And the reason why I say this is because the story is just amazing. Most documentaries, we get at least a dinosaur protagonist for almost every single episode. But in this, we actually don't get any dinosaur protagonist. We just kind of switch locations after location. Which, that is something that I actually kind of like. And I do love the creatures that we get to see in the movie. I mean, not in the movies. In the episodes of Prehistoric Planet. I adore the creatures that we see. The thing that I adore the most is... The freaking screen time with the T-Rex. And yes, I know that you guys were aware that I was going to say I love the T-Rex parts. Oh, how can I not love the T-Rex parts? It's a T-Rex. I love T-Rex. T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur. And I 
finally love the part that that this is back in season one, so But the part that I love about Prehistoric Planet was back in season one the T Rex was sh so shown swimming. And a lot of people argue saying that, oh yeah, T Rex and his relatives can't swim because of their freaking tiny tiny arms and their big fat heads. I kinda like the part on how the T Rex is swimming like a duck. Kind of just like paddling using its feet to paddle. And moving its tail side to side. That kind of proves that TRX doesn't need arms, like big freaking arms, to swim. It can rely upon its legs and its tail to swim. That or it could just do what the TRX did in the Jurassic Park, t in the Jurassic Park novel. Just kind of swim like a crocodile. Which, that is something that I actually do kind of like to think about. I like thinking about T-Rex swimming like a crocodile. And I love how in episode one of season one of Prehistoric Planet, that the T-Rex was basically, like the T-Rex that we see in episode one was basically a scavenger. He was shown going Going off, going to a near offshore island to basically go eat a dead turtle, and it was a big turtle too. It was like two tons, so that was a big turtle. And I think in episode three or four, I don't know. I think it was episode three or four. I, I I can't remember which episode it was. But it was basically the part where the T Rex killed a Triceratops. That's what I liked about Prehistoric Planet. It's showing that T Rex is not just a scavenger. It's also a hunter. It's an opportunistic predator. It's going to take an advantage of a dead meat, of a dead an animal, because it's not designed to basically be a scavenger. It's going after it because it's a free meal. That, and it doesn't fight back. It's basically food that does not fight back. And that's what most people will have a problem with T-Rex. Yeah, it was, episode, it was episode three. That that was yeah, I was right. It was episode three. So I finally like on how we get to see T Rex being not just a scavenger, but a hunter as well. So I'm glad that we get to see T Rex being both hunter and a scavenger. Because most paleontologists do believe that T-Rex is a scavenger, while the rest are just saying, no, T-Rex was both. It was both scavenger and hunter. And I like how Prehistoric Planet basically shows that T-Rex is basically both hunter and scavenger. But yeah, um, back back to season two. Season two of Prehistoric Planet was really good for me, to be honest. Again, not gonna spoil everything. Well, I'm not gonna spoil anything. If you want to go see what happens in season two, who just go watch it. That or be like me and go watch some clips on YouTube. But yeah. Honestly, I think Prehistoric Planet deserves the title as the King of Dinosaur Documentaries. Because it was just freaking the best. The same thing goes for Season 1. Both Season 1 and 2 are amazing.
And I like how we get a well-shown dinosaur documentary. And I honestly don't care if the documentary is accurate or not. I don't really care. I love dinosaurs. Because I don't really like accurate dinosaurs, at least not that much. I'm kind of like, okay, with accurate dinosaurs. I'm more of a fan of non-accurate dinosaurs. Some accurate dinosaurs I think I... Some accurate dinosaurs I do like with, like for example, the Velociraptor being smaller... That is something that I actually don't mind, because it's basically small. And I understand why most people have a problem with the Jurassic Park 2, well, with the Jurassic Park Velociraptors. They're not small, they're basically big. They're basically the same size as a Utah Raptor. But me personally, I don't really care. I like the Jurassic Park Raptors. They were just freaking badass. But yeah. And don't worry, I will eventually do my review of Prehistoric Planet both season one and two. And I don't even know if we're going to get a season three. We might get a season three, or we might not get a season three. That depends if they want to do a season three. And that depends on how well it goes off at the box office. This pre-star final season one freaking killed it at the box office, so we might get a season three. But still... Anyways, that's it for my thoughts and opinions on Prehistoric Planet. I, well, Prehistoric Planet Season 2, I will go do my thoughts and opinions on Season 1 later. But, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!